taking projects for the sake of money i know i know i know let me tell something let me tell something let me tell something let me tell something, let me tell something. Welcome back again to Gruna's podcast. I'm your host in Jerry and today I want us to talk about um, my outs as a 24 year old unemployed youth. Last week we did my ins for 2024 and I'm pretty sure that you have seen this trend somewhere online my ins and my outs for the new year, my ins and outs for 2024 and yeah. I just wanted to hop onto the trend and since we already did uh my ins in the previous episode I wanted to do the outs in this episode. So my first out for 2024 is being tired and exhausted of life. So if there's if there was ever a speech wrapped <laughs> for each year then um my most used used my most used phrases for 2024 would be I'm tired and I don't know. I probably used those words several times each day. in 2023 and I just want to stop that. I want to be excited for life. I want to wake up and be excited um of being alive. I I always I used I I used to see this um I used to see people um post on IG thank god today didn't start without me. and i just didn't get it like i was just like what is that to be excited for why are you so happy <laughs> to have woken up it's very early in the morning why what are you excited for because i was just like tired and exhausted of my life because when you think that having a job is literally your purpose for living or anything having a job is the only thing that is to life then when it's taken away from you you don't you don't know what to do with yourself you don't know what to do with your life and that's exactly how i felt and so this year i'm this year i'm throwing that out What I'm bringing in as is I want to be excited for life. I want to wake up each day and be like those people. Thank God today didn't start without me. Because I think there's so much more to life um than having a job. There's so many movies to watch, there's so many TV shows to watch, there's so much music to listen to, there's so many artists to discover. There's so many like I I'll play some music on Spotify or I'll discover a new artist or I'll discover a new podcast and my head will just go can you imagine there's like hundreds or thousands of other like artists of other podcast of other people like um that you really enjoy to li- listening to there's just so when you watch discover and that just recently it just like gets me so excited to be alive and sometimes i just feel like well i'm not sure 70 years or 90 years are going to be enough for me to discover all this to see all this to listen to all of this and yeah that's that's what i want to do so my out for 2024 is I'm no longer saying I don't know or I'm tired because we excited <laughs> we excited to be alive when you don't know something we are going to try and figure it out because sometimes I think I just like say I don't know and 
I actually do know I just don't want to like deeply think about something or I just don't want to admit something to myself so I'm just going to go like I don't know I'm tired I don't want to think about that right now I just yeah I want to be excited to know to find out things about myself I want to be excited to be alive I want to be excited to be living my second art for 2024 is creating sad shit <laughs> or like just drawing inspiration from painful experiences or bad experiences in my life like i could use them but i want to teach myself that they're not the only muses in life like the sad artist is not the only artist happy art is also good art and happy or like beautiful experiences can also be inspirations for creating they can also be inspirations for continuing to like live life right and yeah i just i want to teach myself to um not dwell um on painful experiences and like extending their lifetimes um extending their lifetimes more than they need to, to to be alive right i want to feel the ugly feeling and like feel the sad shit but not dwell on it cuz i i am um, i'm not supposed to like hold on to them i am not the dwelling place for sadness and pain i'm just i'm just a pathway that they need to pass through and move on they don't need to stay with me uh yeah they don't need to dwell in inside of me or in my body they i need to feel them and they just need to leave they need to go right so pain is you are not the dwelling place of pain you are not the dwelling place um of sadness and ugly feelings you're just a pathway and i sound like a preacher can i get an amen <laughs> yeah yeah so sad sad shit is not it's not the only thing that you can use as a muse ooh rhyming um a happy feelings can also be sources of inspiration and i want i know that that's a whole other um untapped source of inspiration and i want to explore that i want to see just how much like good and happy experiences can inspire me to do things my third out for 2024 is being a victim of my own circumstances you know when you are unemployed for a while everyone just goes like all oh, were you or new or she or new and it just sometimes when you're not without even you knowing the way like seeps in and you start to become it you start to become you accept that you are a victim of your circumstances and i think like accepting that um or letting that be um part of your identity or part of your personality then you end up um giving away all of your power and you just you just become this person who things happen things they just things happen to you you are never in control or you just never feel like you can control anything and yeah i'm just not about that this year um i don't want to be a damsel in distress waiting for my knight in shining armor i want to take control over my life even when i know that um with being unemployed it's not there are many factors that come 
into play. I'm not the only factor here. So I can't like 100% say that it's just me who um, has brought this upon myself. But um, I can still like take control over my circumstances. Even when unemployment has happened to me, I can, there are things that I can do even in, even in this situation. I just don't have to like sit here and wait for someone to come save me and just like feel sorry for myself for being like unemployed and I'm just like sitting there waiting for someone to like give me a job or do something for me. I can always try my best to find a way out or to find something to do meanwhile. I don't want to be that person who's just like waiting for someone to help them. I don't want to be that person who's just like always um, sitting there and being all sad and feeling um, entitled um, that just because I'm done in school and I have these skills and I have this experience, someone needs to give me a job. I can always find something to do. Even if it's not like a job, I want to be an active participant in my life. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to be this person who who's just sitting there and waiting for things to happen to them. I want to also like take charge and take control over my life. So this year we are not being victims of our circumstances. We are doing things for ourselves. And that's what we are about in 2024. My fourth out for 2024 is the fear of being seen. So I had grown us podcast for a while now, but every time anyone would somehow find out I have a podcast and they just be like, oh my God, Catherine, you have a podcast. What is it about? What is, I just go like, um, yeah, I do have a podcast. So tell me what it's about. And I don't know, it's, it's, it's nothing. You don't have to look at it, which is like, what girl, what? what why are you doing that like this year i wanna i don't want to be afraid of being seen because i'd create all these um episodes for grown-ups i would create these videos um short videos for youtube or social media and as much as i'd share them on social media in my head i'd be so so afraid of anyone finding them which is so paradoxical because if you're creating and you're sharing, then why are you afraid of anyone finding out about them? Then what's the point of creating and sharing? So this year, I don't want to be afraid of being seen. I want to be excited when someone asks me about um, grown-ups. I'm going to show them where they can find the episodes. I want to like talk to them about my projects. I want to, yeah, I want to leave. <laughs> Cause I just feel like I haven't really been living for most of my life. So yeah, I wanna, I want people to see me. I want to be seen. I don't want to hide. I don't want to live my life hiding. I want to be seen and I want people to find me and see me and see my projects and see my work. That's what I want to do. So the fear of being seen is, it's going out, it's going out. The fourth thing that I am not about this year is taking projects for the sake of money. I know, I know, I know. Let me tell something, let me tell something. Let me tell something, let me tell something. Let me tell something. So, in 2023, I took a few projects, projects, jobs, projects, 
whatever you want to call them, for the sake of money. And it, this is a problem. It wasn't even a lot of money. But I just thought, you know, like, I don't want to be part of this. I don't like doing this, but I'm going to do it because I need the money. Okay? And I did it and it bit me in the ass. And yeah, being there, done that, would not recommend. But then again, I think it's different for every individual and I think it's different for every situation. Which is why in the episode, you remember the episode for lessons from an unemployed youth? I said you have got to know what it is you're willing to take or accept and that which is which you're not willing to take or like accept. Um, and I think from that I have learned that I don't think I want to do something just for the sake of doing it or just for the sake of getting money. I want to do things that I know are going to lead me to the... are on the path to my dreams or on the path to my goals. That's that's what I want to do because sometimes you might do something for the sake of money and you just end up not getting the money in the end. So it's just like, what's the point? This has happened to me <sighs> not once, but two times, several times. And now I have learned the lesson. Universe, don't teach me that lesson again. I got it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think if I take a project that I know this is something that I want to do, this is something that I want to be part of, and I'm not just doing it for the money, I'm doing it because it's right on the path um, towards my goals. It means that even if I don't get the money, which is a very big if, I don't want to miss my money, please. Let me get the money. Thank you. Um, even if I don't get the money, then at least it's leading me towards my dream life. Right? Yeah. So I think you just have to know what it is you are willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept and what your goals are, what your dreams are, what you want to like do. With your life, you have... To know that I think for you to be able to even have or get this list for your ins and outs um, of 2024 or of the month or of the week, you know, or of your life, right? Yeah, so those are my five outs for 2024. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I really enjoyed creating it. Ooh, I think I'm getting my mojo back. Um, I enjoyed creating this episode and I hope you enjoyed like listening to it, being here with me and I really, really appreciate you for getting this far uh, with the podcast and with the episode. I appreciate it and I love you for that. Uh, but I just love you in general because we said just by virtue of your existence, you don't have to earn being loved yeah so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one bye